at 4. When you think of tough mathematical equations or building robots, it can be a little intimidating if science is not your thing. But one new class in Omaha is trying to change that and get young girls interested in science. Justin went to class today and joins us now with the story. Are you good with math or science? I was always decent, but it's I, I think I, I left my brain after school because now I'd say I'm terrible. <laughs> I, it, uh, I can't believe I'm going admit to admit this on television. I flunked one of my college math oh. classes. I know. That's it's okay. We won't hold it against you. I know. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't have to deal with the numbers like that. You know, historically, though, there's been a pretty big gap between the amount of men entering the science field and the amount of women. So there's even the Association for Women in Science that advocates for equal pay and advancement in that field. Now, teachers at the all-girl Marion High School also realized the potential to close that gap and are taking the issue head on. Mega pixels or mega bytes. The equations, formulas, numbers, they're thrown around in this room. Groups of girls huddle in Marion High School's new STEM lab, where science, technology, engineering, and math are put to use, hands-on. Um, it would be really easy to stay and just teach it the same way, uh, but that's not benefiting them. Sharon Genoway has taught science here for 22 years, but it's the way that she's taught it that's changed a lot. That's why the school built this room, modeled after UNO's STEM lab, trying to keep up with the ever-changing world of science that's sometimes a little intimidating. By allowing them to see that word STEM every day, it's becoming something of like, oh yeah, that's not a big deal. I, that's a career that I totally can do. I was in that room every single day for an entire year. The world of science has changed so much, Genoway is going back to school herself, working towards a doctorate in STEM education. Go back a few years, students would not be working on an iPad, and there certainly wasn't anything like a robot in the class, especially a machine built by students. The school says this high-tech class is a way to close the historically wide gap between men and women working in the field of science. Some kids just get stuck into the doctor, lawyer, nurse, teacher mode, and there's the challenge, I think, for me is to not only teach them about what's there now, but what might be there in four years. It could be totally different careers. And I imagine that it'll be completely different. Now, to show you how dedicated mm -hmm. they are to this, even the ceiling in that classroom was specially designed and reinforced so that they could hang things from it, wow. special projects. And you saw the That's kids awesome. working on the iPad. So a lot of their homework is now just turned in electronically, so no more so of the... just email it. No more of the, <laughs> I left my paper at home. Right. Which no I've, excuses. I've used. So you I really, saw, so you myself, really would fail me. <laughs> I sound like I'm a bad student. I really wasn't. I was a very good student. I Those just, girls are going to do very they well. They will Justin. do well. Better than me in math, I will tell you that. You Other go. than that, I was great at school. Just All right. Not math. Good to hear. Thanks. <laughs>